Hello friends, it's Reza. Welcome to channel Reza Blade. Thank you for joining me today. We're doing another daily review in my uh, 30 day series of daily reviews. Um, I am gonna try this real quick and dirty this time. We are doing some Z-Joy plates. I don't know how many of you have heard of the Z-Joy plates. They're one of the uh, brands on AliExpress that tend to have some uh, original or uh, just original images. So uh, we tend to cherish that rare thing when it happens. And so I have gotten a few of these. Today I'm sharing one, two, three, four, five, six with you. And I've got swatches of all the stamps and I've got some stamps on swatch sticks for you. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look at the plates and show you what I've got. So uh, here is the Z-Joy folder. I think that's pretty cute. These come in, the cards come in this little envelope and uh, I like them, but I do recycle them because I keep my cards in a binder. I mean cards, my plates in a binder. So let's take a look at, let's numerically order these first. got some on the first plate which is plate number uh, 12 we've got some uh, Japanese mon the circular images we've got Gudetama the fun um, Sanrio character right up here um, and I think that's also Gudetama sleeping which is uh, so adorable and um, I have a uh, manufacturer flaw on this plate. I don't know if you can see this Japanese pattern up here, but it is missing that upper right hand corner. And this is a weird image. This one does not, uh, this little flower does not stamp as far as I know. So here are the mon. Uh, this works very well as a half moon design. Let me see if I've got, yeah, I've got the swatch. So you can use that as a guide to leave that blank with negative space and just paint above this line. If you want to leave that a different color, but you're not really good with straight lines or circles or anything like that. So that is one of the things I think this plate is great for. And I mean, if you need a circle, and you don't have one, you can always use this one and take out everything in there with scotch tape very, very carefully. All right, so that is plate number 12. Let me get rid of this now that I've shown you that I just got that in the mail. All right, 21. These are some more nature-oriented plate images. A bunch of mushrooms and flowers, and we've got a fairy or a goddess or just a woods woman here and we've got a, a two tile image here which is really neat I like those uh, lilies of the valley maybe is what that is that is we've got a little spider here we've got a sideways image right here anyway let's get you better side of that there you go. All right. Number 22 is the same kind of thing. We've got an owl up here, a, uh, kind of like a cameo image right here, but not a, not a real silhouette. It's uh, some line detail. All these fine lines are very well etched. In fact, they will tear up your, your plates will tear up uh, coupon balls, these two at least, 21 and 22. We've got a couple of planters, bird with legs on a unicycle, which is interesting enough. So there's that one. Um, number 34, I ordered mostly because of these silhouettes. You've got a Japanese mon image up here, got a fan here, got a bamboo forest here. 
I really wish this structure weren't blocked by the Z Joy image. It's frustrating. We've got a dragon. We've got a mountain of some sort. And um, the rest are kind of like old school kind of uh, Asian drawings. And here's a phoenix. All right. Oh, look at that tea set. That's a cute little tea set. And if anybody have ever watched The Karate Kid, you know what this image reminds you of. All right, 35, we've got some fun cartoon Asian um, characters. And we've got, looks kind of like one of those masks that those ladies wear in, I don't, I don't know what the cultural reference is, but uh, that's a lovely image. Really huge, too. And maybe a Japanese opera house? I'm not sure. These look like that. Um, they are masks. Um, I think that's enough. You've got some borders up here for French style mayonnaise. And last but certainly not least, we've got 39. We've got a shattered glass image. We've got a tree that is really nice and another bamboo forest. Got some lanterns. And some pencils. I think, I think they're pencils. <laughs> it, it could be a rustic vents. Okay, so let me show you my paper swatches. I really like this nest image right here. And this two tile image is really great. These mushrooms are just really fabulous. Here's our goddess stamped. Isn't she lovely? Got the mm, owls are so my favorite. So my favorite. This is a fun image. I mean, all of these would be great for low lighting, of course. That's why I originally got them. I don't know what that is, but it's beautiful. <laughs> Alrighty. So here's 12. Here's Gudetama. Got that half moon image there. All right, so three more and then we're done. Uh, well, after the swatch sticks. So here's 35. All these are really little, so it may be a little tough to see them. They're great little characters though. These are just great. All right, here's 39. Those pencils would go well. I have a Creative Shop pencil image that would go well with that, I think. I'll have to look at it. And this is me trying to stamp with that big uh, clear stamper that I use sometimes. It just doesn't work sometimes. And then here's Z-Joy before I realized that these images really don't look as cool as they are on paper. So I skip most of them and I do a bunch of them on the stamp sticks. Speaking of the stamp sticks. This is the potted plant.
She's from 35. It's from 39. I think this is from 34. No, 35. Cute. Thirty-nine. I don't know if you can see this very well, but this is the bamboo bamboo forest image. Here's my trees. Here's another little girl. Here's the owl, which I love this. A couple of masks. I double stamped those with black and white. Got that half moon shown. Filled this in with some gray holographic. Here's those nesting birdies. And some tassels from that big tassel mask. Here's the silhouette image. Not silhouette. Profile. There we go. And, sorry, it's, a lot of stuff is sticking to these. I just did them. Cute little butterfly here on this one. And there's that one I said was pretty, but I didn't know what it was. All right. Thank you so much for joining.